The job market blew me up very fast, and the offers we received in a week is even more than what we got in a month last month. And guess what? A lot of people are still wondering is still right time for me to get started, and what kind of industry should we look into, and how is AI going to impact the future job market or not? But most importantly, I want you to understand the opportunities are only available for people who are ready. In this video, I'm going to get you ready by understanding the following top three secrets. Number one, the latest hiring trend in Q2 2024. Number two, top industry to join. Number three, free job referrals. And make sure to stay until the end of this video where I share with you those free AI career paths and see whether AI is going to impact your future career or not. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product and feature in Forbes. I've helped thousands of people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe and check out new video every Tuesday. First of all, let's talk about March and April hiring search. And literally, as we're speaking right now, March and April definitely going to put triple the offer amount. As when I'm filming this video right now, the offers we received with NPM Accelerator within one week of March is even more than what we got within February. The reason is that a lot of companies start hiring right now in March and April and continue to hire throughout the rest of the year. Now, let me use some data to prove what I meant. For example, as of March 1st, we have students joining Meta and many other candidates also doing matchmaking with Meta. We even have students who currently land a job offer in March, but she interviewed in January. The company spent two months to really think about whether they need to hire anybody or whether they need to select which candidate to join. But all of them decide to make decision around the time of March. And not to mention the top hiring employer in the market, which is TikTok. TikTok every single week, they are interviewing my students and I also literally had three TikTok hiring managers reach out to me proactively saying that, hey Nancy, please help me refer the best candidate to join TikTok because TikTok is literally growing dramatically. They are trying to build similar features to Instagram because they want to build some text and picture features. They also want to be YouTube because they want to introduce the series of long videos and inviting people like me to join the user study in January because they are very ambitious. So that's why they're always trying to grow and bring new people join the company and those are literally large amount of hiring opportunities and all start in March and April. And March is also primary season for people to start looking for internship opportunities. For example, as we're speaking right now, we already have students receiving PM internship offers from NVIDIA and Intel and many of them also receive offers from Unicorn Startup as well. And actually internship hiring is just at the beginning and people will start to hire from March, April, and May, and that's why everyone needs to get ready for your upcoming internship interviews as well. If you're looking for a full-time job and trying to join the top tier companies, and feel free to go to the free job referrals in this link of the description where I have lots of recruiters reach out to me and asking, hey, can I get referrals and the best candidate join my company? That's why I get free referral for all my followers. So feel free to go to the link in the description and submit your resume and look up all the latest job uh, referral opportunities we have. Now let's talk about why March and April is a primary recruiting season and why there's so many opportunities that's gonna be available starting now and throughout the coming few months. There are mainly macro and micro reasons. First of all, the macro reason. If you look at the entire employment data of the United States, February became one of the lowest months again and companies continue to hire people throughout the entire US. And from the macro level, you will see the stock market also reached one of the highest points again and Bitcoin crypto price also shoot up through the roof uh, this is a great sign to show that people start to feel confident about the entire job market, which also means that employers also start to feel confident to spend money to hire more people to grow again. If you look at the layoff chart of last month, which is February, and the layoff number is actually one of the lowest compared with the past year and a half. So right now, fewer people have been laid off and more and more opportunities available in the job market. Now let's talk about the micro level, which is the individual company level. If you work for any of the bigger or smaller companies, you will realize that majority of the company they give last year's commission in March. Some of them delayed it until April, but most of them, the bonuses is getting distributed around March. Why March? 
it was because the budget usually is getting approved in January, and companies start to think out how do they use those budget, what kind of openings, what kind of strategy growth opportunities need to happen within the company. And starting from March, companies start to go. We need to be serious about hiring new people to fill in the growth strategy of the entire team. That's why you will see a lot of opportunities start to happen in March and continue to go throughout April, May, and June as well. So what companies and industries do I recommend everybody to look into? It's based on the amount of volume of hiring they're having and also the prediction of the growth opportunity. Now let's look into what kind of industries and companies are hiring the most. And targeting the right industries and right companies is going to save all of us lots of time because we're going to spend more time studying and preparing for the right industry instead of competing with very narrow opportunities in some industry that's barely hiring. There are top three industries I highly recommend for people to look into. First of all, it's the crypto industry. And recently, I became the partner of RealVC, where I get into a lot of insider information of the crypto industry. And guess what? The crypto industry literally just at the beginning of its bull market. If you compare with last year, when crypto market was just in the bear market, and all the VCs find it very easy just to deploy funding and find all the best company, best product to invest their money in. But now, as we are speaking, and the entire crypto market starts to shoot up based on the price of Bitcoin, the confidence of crypto industry, and there's so many crypto companies, they have more funding they can ever need to grow their company, their product. And right now, all the VCs basically like, please take my money. And then all the crypto companies were like, mm, let me think about whose company I want to take. The reason was because now they have more money than need, it's time for them to grow and really start building their product. And especially in the last bull market, there's a lot of sad news and scammers in the industry. And now people in the crypto industry are very determined to really build a real product that can actually push this decentralized ecosystem into the next level. So that's why so many of the crypto companies will start hiring and also they pay extremely well as well. If you want me to make a separate video about deep dive, how to get into the crypto industry, please comment below so I know there's a high demand so that motivation to make the next video. So comment below and let me know. The second industry I want all of you guys to focus on is AI related industry. Nowadays, everybody wants to add AI into their own product because this is the future, they want to miss the boat. And they also really believe that AI is going to change the world and accelerate the technology growth and also make our day-to-day -day life much easier. That's why a lot of companies start to open up many AI-related job functions. And some of them, they already have an existing product. They want to add additional AI component to it. So therefore, they need to hire lots of people who can do AI product management. I have a separate video about generative AI, what different tools and knowledge in the master so that you can get ready into the AI industry. Check out this video right here. Now, let's also look into different kind of AI companies. And there are two different types of AI companies. Number one, there are core cool foundational AI companies such as NVIDIA and OpenAI. And as I said earlier, I already have a students join NVIDIA and currently I'm also helping one of our leaders finishing his final round interview with OpenAI. And this foundational AI company will continue to hire people and aggressively and also pick the best candidate to join them. Guess what? The interview question for those OpenAI type of companies is even harder than the fan product management interview questions. So therefore, everybody must study the foundational interview process for product management and then gain additional knowledge about AI product management. However, besides those top tier companies, I also recommend everybody look into the fast growing AI startup because they are relatively easier to join compared with OpenAI. However, they have great potential to create amazing product and also give you more responsibilities to build any cool innovation on top of AI. But it's also misconception. People thought you need to know how to code, become an AI product manager, which is incorrect. I literally have many of my students who land AI PM job. They do not know how to code at all. And some of them even land a senior AI product manager job. So starting your AI career is more about positioning yourself learning the right knowledge and also figure out the most effective way to break into the AI industry. And I'm going to create a separate course specializing in AI product management. If you're interested, feel free to join the waitlist so that you'll be notified when we launch this course in Q2 2024. So go to link in the description and join the waitlist right now. The third industry I recommend everybody look into is fintech industry. Through all the data I've seen in the past, 
Spintech continuously to hire people, and the main reason is that their revenue is related to the entire macro economy right now. And majority of the in fintech companies, such as Stripe or Visa, they almost like monopoly and very stable, and they continuously actually hire lots of my students and to join those companies. Therefore, I still recommend everybody look into those fintech industries because they will continue to hire and they're very stable and continue to innovate on top of the traditional payment methodology. For example, even Robinhood started hiring lots of crypto product managers to join Robinhood as well. And I mentioned this in my free referral uh, network. Uh, make sure to check out those free referrals in the link below as well. Among the top three industries I mentioned, you're probably thinking, hey, Nancy, AI sounds really cool, but sounds like the gap is too big for me to get started. But I really recommend all of you guys, if you're interested in AI, it's important to get started right now because we're just the beginning of the entire era of how AI is going to change the world. A link in the description of this video. So therefore, I recommend everybody check out my free playlist where I walk you through the different types of ways to become outstanding AI product managers without any experience from end-to-end -end product management lifecycle for AI product on all the way to day in life as a product manager. So make sure to watch this free playlist right here and take lots of notes and get started with the AI journey today. And of course, join my waitlist of my upcoming AI product management course. You will be the first person who will be notified once the course is available. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXCertor.io. I'm gonna see you in my next video right here.